Hey guys, if you are a Shopify app developer, today we got some really great announcements from Shopify at Editions, and it's that now we have a new batch called Built for Shopify for our applications inside of the App Store. Now, I want to go over some of the features that come with having this new status on the Shopify App Store, and I'm also going to let you guys know about the requirements. So if you are a serious developer, you need to watch this video. So let's get started, guys. So let's go over the first feature that I think is super important that is going to help out a lot of developers and it's getting the bill for Shopify status badge. So it's going to look like this and you're actually going to be seeing it in multiple places. You're going to see it in your listing page for your application. You're also going to get some highlights and in the highlight sections, you're going to show up with the built for Shopify, basically saying, Hey, meets Shopify's highest quality standard for speed, ease of use and merchant value. So again, is going to definitely help you out to stand out above the rest. Also, too, is going to show up here on the search results. So when somebody comes here and searches, for example, TikTok, right, and there's a million TikTok applications, there's going to be one application that's going to have built for Shopify status, which is going to help you stand out from everybody else who's also on the search results. And since we are here in the search results, let's also talk about the fact that by having this new batch, you're going to also receive a search ranking boost to your application. So more visibility for those applications that have been basically validated by Shopify with this new batch. Another thing that's really cool about having this new status for your application is the fact that now you're eligible to show up here on the home page of the app store, basically the first collection of applications that's recommended to a store. Now, again, this isn't something that is just for built for Shopify apps only because it's personalized to each store. This is big guys. Okay. This is where you're going to get the most traffic to your applications. Another place that you're going to go in and get this eligibility is in your app section. So when somebody clicks on apps and they click on recommended apps, they're going to show over here, all of the different applications that basically Shopify recommends for this store. Again, this is very personalized. Uh, for each store, but by having this new status, it makes you more eligible to get a chance to be inside of this collection. Another cool feature that you're going to be eligible for is having a story page and a story page is something similar to this right here, where they can share a story of your application or maybe a store that is using your application and they're basically sharing, uh, Hey, what type of application they're using? So you might get some, you know, some promo through there. So again, this is going to be something pretty cool that they have. And again, it's just to help applications that, you know, are following the guidelines of Shopify to really excel and to shine in this platform. Now, probably you're asking yourself, Joe, how do I get access to this? Where do I apply? Slow down. I'm going to tell you that in a second. But first, we got to go over the requirements and pretty much the criteria of things that you got to pass before you get accepted into this new built for Shopify app status. Okay. So apply for the built for Shopify status, right? It's going to be open on March 1st, 2023. Now, the whole point of this is to have a certain standard for what a Shopify application is. And if you can go in and check off everything here, then guess what? Your application is ready to go and it's built for Shopify. And you're going to get that badge. <laughs> okay. So again, let's go in and start with this, right? Safety and security and reliability. Okay. Having a good partner standing. Okay. You, you definitely need that. Basically the app needs to continue to meet, right? All the requirements for distributing the apps on the Shopify app store. Of course, uninstalls cleanly. You want your application to be using the theme app extension. No more of, Hey, copy this code here. So it can show up in my theme. No, you need to actually go in and start using the theme app extensions. All right. Also to another thing doesn't use the asset API. All right. Uh, to be injecting code into uh, the store steam, right? Unless it's for a page builder, right? There's going to be some exceptions here and there. And again, this is something that you're going to see more in the documentation on Shopify main website. So again, I'm just giving you guys a quick overview 
of the things that you guys need to be doing, right? But of course, you can always go to the documentation and read all about it, right? Performance, right? You want to have low or no impact to the store speed, right? You want to retrieve the shipping rates quickly. So if you have an application that has to deal with shipping at the end of the checkout, make sure that if connecting to some type of API, that is actually fetching that data fast because you don't want to have a checkout that's taking, you know, two minutes to load. We don't want that. All right. So keep that in mind. Also to mobile performance, use AdBridge, optimize loading on mobile devices. This is something that most of you guys should know by now. Uh, use AppBridge that supports admin performance tracking. Admin performance meets at least 75 percentile of what vital targets okay so that's something that's very important then we have the ease of use app is embedded in the shopify admin follows embedded app best practices okay i think this one's going to be very big right sometimes i see this where you have an application that redirects you to another website now you definitely got to start using average okay you if you want to get this badge okay so keep that in mind uh follows embedded app best practices meets all app design guidelines so yes you should be using polaris if you if you're not using it but you should be using it right you want the application to feel like it's part of Shopify. You don't want it to go in and say hey I'm using this application but it feels like it's a different website keep that in mind guys all right this is why it's built for shopify uh proving usefulness okay you want to go in and have a a certain amount of customers by a certain point maybe having some reviews right having a good rating complete updated app listing form of course and yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward right another thing too that i want to mention is that unless you pass all of the requirements that i just mentioned right if you don't pass them you're not going to get access to build for shopify status all right guys so anyways man i hope you guys really liked this video and enjoyed it as much as i did i love when i get to collaborate with shopify you guys know shopify stay close to my heart and this is what we do man i'm about my bags shopify is about their bags so yeah <laughs> we got to work together if you guys want to go in and look into this, definitely check out the documentation. I'm pretty sure Shopify editions already is out. You can go through their website. I'm going to leave a couple of links below so you guys can get access to this information and some of the important pages uh, that Shopify wants you guys to know about. All right. So anyways, man, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Peace.